Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this JMeter tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the aggregate report in the JMeter. So let's begin. In our previous session, we learned about the Blaze Meter extension and we learned that how we can record the scenario and how we can import that scenario for the performance testing, right? Furthermore, what we did is that we added one listener called aggregate report. So in this particular tutorial, we will learn about that particular report, okay? So in order to learn about this particular report just let's open the scenario we created earlier just click on file click on open and select the scenario you created earlier okay open that scenario in the jmeter right and now just go to this thread group okay go to add go to listener and here you will find this aggregate report okay click on add here so this is the overview and the first look of the aggregate report for you. It has multiple fields here, samples, average, medium, 90% line, 95% line, 99% line, minimum, maximum, error percent, throughput, received and sent. And again, we can name this report, we can put the comments and then we have some options here. Okay, we will discuss each and every option here to understand how we can utilize this report at the maximum level because the results you get plays a really important role in identifying the bottlenecks in your application so understanding a report is really really important okay now let's create a scenario here and we will generate a report and data here and we will understand that data okay for that just go to this thread group okay i'm changing the threads to two here from 2 to 10 okay ramp up time is one second and i want to run this scenario for one time okay so this is a simple scenario and now just run this scenario and let's see either we are getting some data here or not okay so always try to dry run the scenario and you will get some results here okay now you can see that our scenario got executed successfully and we got some data here okay now let's understand each and everything here okay so now what is label here label is your request basically so if you can see that it says main application url and this was our request okay so label reflects to your request name okay we have an option here include group name in the label if i click on this one okay so what it will do is that it will include the thread group name against this label as well okay so i'm running this again so that we can see that either we are getting this label here or not so you can see now we are getting this thread group name with this particular request name in the label so this is option is used for this purpose only okay now understand the other fields here what are the samples here so samples are nothing basically whatever we defined here in terms of the users in the thread group it would be basically populated here against each and every request in your jmeter script so it basically denotes how many times this request got executed so whatever we defined here in thread group will be represented here in the samples now we have another field here which is called average so what is this average here? So basically average here means that JMeter takes the average time of these 10 samples. Okay. In the similar context, median is means the 50% of your request time. Okay. Then 90% means that 90% of request time at how many time these 90% request got executed successfully. Okay similarly goes for the 95 percent and 99 percent so why we need this 90 percent 95 percent and 99 percent because we want to know that how many of requests were got successful and how many requests got fail and how much they took time so for example here if we go with this 10 samples here this means 10 requests okay and these 10 requests okay took around 600 milliseconds so all times here in the JMeter are in the milliseconds. So nine out of 10 requests, nine requests got executed within this period of time. 
okay then how much was the minimum time minimum time was 475 millisecond maximum was this if you find any kind of errors during this execution it will display the number of errors here okay then we have this throughput now what is throughput throughput is basically a number of requests per second per minute or per hour okay so the more you get here is the better because if there are thousands of requests and they are getting successfully done or completed within one uh, maybe minute they are really good so higher the number higher the throughput would be okay then this throughput receives this number of kilobytes is basically a kilobytes per second the data sent and received okay so that's all about this particular data we get then we have these other options here the main important option is basically to write results to the file or read from the file now let's see how we can write and read from the file okay in real time what happens is that if we don't write in the file gmeter will take a lot of memory because it will populating all the data here within the gmeter okay so in the real time scenarios we will be writing over all the data into the file okay so now let's see we can how we can write the data in the file for that just open uh, excel here okay and in excel we will create a blank file here blank csv file okay so i am saving this file here save as okay i am saving on the desktop okay and it will ask the name so i am saying that data results and we need to select the type of okay so that we can save the file accordingly so we will be selecting here as a comma separated delimited okay so let's find that one here so here csv comma delimited one select this one and save this file okay now file is save and you see that we don't have any kind of a data here okay now if i go here we have this file on the desktop okay now just go back to the gmeter here and i'm clearing this results from here now click on browse here and we need to select that file which we created okay just go to your file location and select that file okay i'm selecting this file from here so if you can see that we can select only dot xml dot jtl or dot csv that's why we have created the csv file here click on open this one okay now the file has been imported into the jmeter and whatever we want to display here we can select accordingly if we if we only want errors we will select errors if we want only success we will do that and also we can configure the fields we want in this particular file okay there are so many options available here you can select as per your requirement okay now let's run this again and let's see but before that if you start running this one you will get these options here okay now you can see that it's asking to append the existing file okay don't start override the existing file if you want to append the results in a single file you can select this one okay if you don't want to start again click on this one but the best option would be to override the existing file because every time you need a new results and you can compare those results with the previous executions just click on this override existing file and let's see what happens our script got executed successfully and we can see that we got the results here in the jmeter now open the file from the desktop and see either we have able to successfully log this data into the file or not okay just go to your file open that file and see okay so now you can see that we have successfully logged the data here okay so it, it will tell about the label response time okay whatever the settings you've done okay so you will get all the details here okay so you will see that it will say or give the details about the 10 executions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 because in the gmeter we configured it for the 10 threads so that's how you can write 
into the file okay now in order to read this file I'm just opening a new project here so you can see that okay and here in the test plan 11 go to the listener add aggregate report here click on browse and open this file okay and you will get the results here so that's how you can read and write from the file okay furthermore you have option to save this file okay click on this save table before that if you want to save the table header these are the headers okay so you can check this one or if you don't want this uncheck this one again if you want to include the group name you can add that as well okay I'm clicking this one and click on save data and I'm naming it as aggregate.csv click save just go back to the desktop and we will find this aggregate report here okay now open this file and see the results so you can see the results here in the aggregate file so that's how you can work with the data and then you can analyze the data so that you can identify any bottlenecks in your application thank you so much for watching this tutorial we hope that you have learned something today if you like our content then do subscribe our channel like share and comment and once again thank you so much and see you in the next lecture